This video is based on the 12 principles of animation as described by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. So the next principle is called timing. This principle states that the personality and nature of an animation is greatly affected by the number of frames inserted between each main action. Basically, if you have many drawings that are very close together in between the two main poses, the action will be very slow. If you have very few drawings set far apart from each other, the action will be very fast. Less drawings means fast, more drawings means slow. One simple action can have 10 different meanings depending on how many frames you give it. This man is leaning from one shoulder to the other. With no in-betweens, it looks like his head is being hit by a tremendous force nearly snapping off his neck. With one in-between, his head has been hit by a rolling pin or some other object. With two in-betweens, he has a muscle twitch. With three in-betweens, he's dodging the rolling pin or the other object. With four, he's saying, move it, get out of here. With five, he's more friendly, saying, over here, come on, hurry. With six, he sees a good-looking girl or the sports car he always wanted. With seven, he's trying to get a better look at something. With eight, he's searching for the peanut butter on the kitchen shelf. With nine, he is appraising something very thoughtfully. And with ten in-betweens, he is stretching a sore muscle. The standard frame rate for movies is 24 frames per second. If one drawing is made for each frame, 24 drawings per second, that is called drawing on ones. If one drawing is made for every two frames, that's called drawing on twos, and every three drawings is threes, and so on. It's actually very common to draw on twos rather than ones for a few reasons. First, it cuts the amount of work in half. Second, it actually makes slow actions look smoother than if you were to draw every frame, because the precision needed to draw in between two very close drawings can lead to the animation looking jittery. Some would also say that drawing on twos is better for fast actions as well because it gives a sparkle and spirit to the animation that would otherwise be too evenly timed and less lively if it were drawn on ones. But drawing on ones is necessary when there's a very fast action that needs to be read, often a scramble or a flurry of activity. And it's also everyone's choice how many drawings to put in between poses. Some people draw more or less frames depending on how much movement there is, and this can give a very dynamic effect to the animation. Alright, that's all I've got for timing. The next principle is called exaggeration. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.